Hi, this is Emily from SportMartialArts.com, bringing you the SportMartialArts.com Minute for Monday, October 14th, 2019. SportMartialArts.com has been bringing you Sport Karate Tournament action media news for over 19 years, and we've got the scoop for you with the Daily Minute, where we search the web for Sport Karate social media posts and information, and condense it so we can present it to you in 5 to 10 minutes, so you can stay up to date, be in the know, and spend more time training and living. The clock is ticking, so let's get started. What a weekend. I'm happy to report that my Minnesota Vikings defeated Brandio's Eagles. Eagles, so the equilibrium in the universe was restored. And here's a photo of Brandio after his loss. He's slightly dramatic. All right, today is the then and now Monday, and it's going to be a great show. Our featured competitor is Morgan Plowden, and I dug deep and found some great old footage of her and some great newer footage of her. You're going to love it. I would love to see a ton of likes and shares on this show, so help me out and do it now. So I grabbed some cool footage that Karate Dad Mark Plocker took of the 1415 Black Belt Boys Division from over the weekend. I want to highlight this footage because it shows how much these guys who compete against each other also support each other. And how they have lots of fun. Sport Karate competition is great for kids because it teaches sportsmanship and you make lifelong friends. If you are with me on the benefits of Sport Karate, like and share the show and encourage new competitors to become involved. You guys are the ambassadors for the sport. Let's give some birthday wishes to Christy Kemp Holt, Tyson Ray, Aaron Zapita, Trinity Davis, Lindsay Ledford, Christian Agurto, Christy Sheehy, Paul Barker, Elsa Cordero, Lavelle Harris, Dawn Rafi, and Sophia Minda. Monday is a great day for a birthday, so happy birthday to you all. Now, coming up on the horizon, have you registered yet? The 2019 Diamond Nationals are only a few weeks away on November 1st and 2nd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Make sure to pre-register to save time at the event. It's going to be a great year at this event, and it's in a new venue in downtown Minneapolis. There's a Katana Everett sparring seminar on Thursday night, and it's the Diamond Nationals. Be a part of Sport Karate history and be a part of the Diamond Nationals. Go to diamondnationals.com to register today. And on November 16th, make sure you check out the Destin Open in Fort Walton, Florida. This is a pro Mac event, and it's going to be a great time, as well as a great vacation because it's on the beach. Check out more information at destinopen.com. Let's check out the Sport Karate accomplishments that have been posted. Shout out to these Scottish competitors who are part of the WKA event that's happening. Manny Overground students Delilah, Paulina, and Fernando competed for the first time and came home with medals. Great job to all of them. The Dear Cole brothers are top competitors at this event. Asia got a groove on at the Pan American Internationals and it paid off with two firsts, a second, and two third place finishes at the event. Sammy Smith was the overall women's weapons champion from the Pan American Internationals. It was a great time in Miami for Natalie Allen of Team Legend. Avery Presley is recovering nicely from her injury, and she won the 13 and under girls weapons overall title in Florida. Mom Cullinan is super proud of Emma, who did well in Miami. Mark Plocker and kids Jonah and Julia had a great had a ton of fun at the Pan Americans, and he highlights the great results for a team next level. Gabriel Dunn is super proud of boyfriend Jackson Rudolph, who was the men's overall weapons winner, and her brother Jared, who was the overall men's traditional forms grand champion in Miami. Sation martial arts competitors did wonderful in Florida. Noah Sansate was all smiles as he made it to the stage at the Pan American Internationals. Great work to these competitors who did well at an event in Illinois. Tammy Gillette did well in the senior women's divisions in Illinois. Here's more competition results from the Illinois event. And here's a montage of photos from that event in Illinois. Congratulations to all who went and competed. Great work to all of you. Now I need you to kick out a bunch of likes on this show because I have some great stuff for you in the then and now segment. Morgan Plowden is arguably the best female point fighter in the world right now. She's the daughter of the infamous Richard Plowden, and her brother Richard Avery Plowden is one of the top heavyweight men's fighters. I've been told that Morgan was not always as devoted to sparring as she is now. She used to hate sparring, even though she was quite talented. You'd never guessed it based on her skill level now. 
So I dug into the vault and was able to find some old footage of Morgan from back in 2002 at a local event where Morgan matched up against one of my students, Connor, in the 10, 11 year old division. Morgan beat the you know what out of Connor. So watch this. Thankfully, Connor was a tough kid who could handle a pretty good beatdown for Morgan. And Morgan was clearly pretty talented as a child, even though she didn't enjoy sparring all that much. It's now 17 years later and Morgan has won nearly every top honor possible in sparring. She's got Warrior Cups, Diamond Rings, and so much more. Here's Morgan fighting in the finals of the 2018 AK Warrior Cup. It's the second round of this match, and her opponent, Melanie Ortiz, just tied the score at the end of the first round at 4-4. Watch round two and see the adult Morgan at work. Two minutes on the clock. Two-time Warrior Cup winner plowing, Melanie Ortiz is here to take her first title. Two boys plowing, six to four. I hope you enjoyed this then and now segment. I have more on the way and would love your feedback on how to improve the show and things you want to see in future shows. You can comment on the show, send a Facebook or Instagram message, or message me in the SportMartialArts.com community group. I encourage you to enjoy to join that SportMartialArts.com community group on Facebook. It's a supportive group where you can post your accomplishments no matter how small, ask questions, and celebrate our sport. Come and be a part of it today. And make sure to like, share, and comment on this episode to help us spread the good news about sport karate. Time is up. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time on the SportMartialArts.com Minute.